Hi, welcome back to the Photoshop Training Channel. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change eye color in Photoshop. It's actually a very simple technique and you should be able to follow along no matter your skill level. Why don't we jump right into the tutorial? So, this is the photo that I'm going to work with. You can download it from the link in the description if you like. The first thing that you need to do is make a selection out of the iris. I'll zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll select the elliptical marquee tool and I'll click and drag to make a selection. You can always reposition the selection as you're making it by holding on the spacebar. And I'm trying to match it as best as I can. It doesn't need to be perfect, but as long as you get it close enough, you should be good. Now I need to remove this top part here. And all I'm going to do is hold Alt and Shift on Windows, Option Shift on the Mac, and notice how my cursor now has an X next to it. If I let go of the Shift key and only hold the Alt key, I'll have a minus icon next to it. And if I hold Shift as well, it'll have an X. So that means that I can intersect the selection so I can click and drag. And now I'm going to release both of those keys, the Alt and Shift key, that's the Option and Shift key in the Mac. And I can now create it and adjust it any way that I want. I can use the space bar to move it around. And when I release, I'm going to intersect the selection because I held those two keys when I started creating the selection. See that? It just cuts that top part. So with that selection active, I can just go into the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now I can start making an adjustment to this eye. And we're going to add the second eye now, but we're going to go much faster. Make a selection out of the iris and intersect it. Now I can fill the layer mask with white. White is my background color. So I can press control backspace, command backspace on the Mac to fill with my background color. Then press control D, command D to deselect. I'm going to double click on the hand tool to fit the image to screen. And now you can use the hue slider in the properties panel to change the eye color. And you can use the saturation slider to increase or decrease the color intensity. You can go back and adjust the hue if need be. If you want to make the eyes darker, the lightness slider would not give you the best results, unfortunately. What I would recommend to adjust the brightness of the eyes is to first create a group, then click and drag the mask from the hue and saturation adjustment layer onto the group and then drag the adjustment layers in there. And I'm also going to add another adjustment layer, which is going to be a levels adjustment layer. And I'm just going to use this adjustment layer to adjust the brightness. That way you can get much more realistic results. And the reason that you want to have the layer mask in the group and not on the individual layers is so that you can have one layer mask control as many adjustment layers as you like. So if you need to make an adjustment, you only do it once. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to zoom in and you can see that that hue and saturation adjustment layer is affecting the model's eyelashes. And I don't want that. So I'm going to select the brush tool and paint with black over those areas. Let me just reduce my brush size by tapping on the left bracket key on the keyboard. And I can just paint away the effect from those areas like so. And if I remove too much of that, I can tap on the X key to make my foreground color white and I can paint the effect back in in those areas. So you can just keep fine tuning it as need be. Also, if your eye is too sharp, if the selection that you made is too sharp, you can increase the feather. See how I'm just increasing the feather there so that the adjustment is not very sharp. If I double click on the hand tool to fit the image to screen, you can see the result. And obviously you can keep fine tuning the effect as much as you want. You can also click on colorize if you like. So you can just colorize the entire layer instead of just shifting the hue. So what I was doing before is taking the color that I had in the eye originally and using the hue slider to shift the hue to another location. What Colorize is doing is keeping the original saturation and lightness of the image and using the hue that I set on this slider. So by dragging on the hue slider, you can make it whatever color you like, for example, blue. And you'll need to use the saturation slider to control the intensity of the color. And to control the brightness, you can go into the levels adjustment layer and use this center point to increase or decrease the brightness. Also, if you're working with a subject with light eyes like she has, you may need to darken the iris to get the right color that you need. However, you may inadvertently wash out the details and make the highlights very dull. If this happens to you, this is what you can do. Make a selection out of her eyes. You can simply hold Control on Windows, Command on the Mac, and click on the Group Layer Mask thumbnail to load the mask as a selection. 
and then just duplicate the original eyes. Control J, Command J on the Mac to jump them onto another layer. See how they're just there? And I can just place these eyes on top of the layer stack, then desaturate the layer by pressing Control Shift U. That's Command Shift U on the Mac. It's the same as going into Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate, and you can see the keyboard shortcut there. Next, change the blending mode to Vivid Light and bring down the opacity accordingly. And by the way, notice one thing. If I bring the opacity all the way down to zero, you'll notice that the highlight on the pupil is very dull. But I can start increasing this and then the highlight becomes much brighter. So before and after. And that adds more detail to the eye as well. So that this is a great way of adding extra detail to the eye if you lose it by adjusting the brightest point on the levels adjustment layer. So in case you don't know, basically what this adjustment is doing right now is telling Photoshop that the brightest pixel is no longer white, is this shade of gray, which is why the highlight is no longer completely white. And from this point, all you need to do is fine tune the image to get the results that you want. By the way, make sure that you click on that like button now if you enjoy this technique. I also have a tutorial on changing hair color. I'll place the link to it below in the description so you can watch it right after this one. If this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss any new Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next video.